How has it been for you to be here at the Super Conference? My first time. I, I missed the last time, unfortunately. Um, it's fantastic. Like I, I, I was, I was just speaking, <laughs> yeah, to a, to a bunch of people about. I didn't really expect people to have so many interesting questions, but, and made me think more about uh, what we're doing and how to go about it. Wow, thanks for that, uh, that intro. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Alan Yates. Uh, I'm very honoured to be here today, actually. Uh, for the past uh, four or five years, I, I've been uh, working at Valve Corporation in uh, Seattle. We uh, do essentially VR there, and um, I'm going to talk to you today about the small part of um, the VR story that, that I did. So talk about what you're working on. Okay, so I, I'm working on, on virtual reality technology. So I came to Valve about four and a half years ago. Oh, I remember that when you came, when you when immigrated. I, when I immigrated, exactly. Yeah. So for many years, like the, the community in Australia is obviously, it's actually grown much since I left, which is kind of a shame, but yeah. uh, it, it, we didn't have like any serious make affairs or anything like that in Australia, and, and I used to do my own little projects online. Valve found me via those projects, so that they saw the, the Triple Five contest that, that Jerry ran. Yeah, um, Jerry and Chris. Jerry and Chris, that's right. Yeah, so yeah, Chris that, is still running that conferences. Was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, contest, that was before yeah. Hacker Day, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. So he, um, they had that competition. I made some stuff with, with Triple Fives. I made an adding machine with like hundreds of them. I remember and that, yeah. It was pretty yeah. extreme. So that was one of the things that, that Valve found me with. So they found me and they said, you should come out and check out what we're doing. We're doing some really cool R&D. They didn't tell me what until I got out there and then I found it's all oh, AR and VR and like everything to do with the human body and navigation and you should come do this. And I'm like, I'm a network engineer. I'm, I'm, you know, I write firmware for a living and I used to be a web pro developer. No, 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 you should come work for us. So it's been quite a, a shift for me, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a great. It's fantastic. Like they, they give you all the resources you need, and the people are just amazing. Like they're way smarter than I'll ever be, and it's uh, fantastic. So, how many? Uh, what's a normal day for you like there? Uh, <laughs> is there any normal day? <laughs> is there any normal day? Every day is, can be unique. Um, you know, we're basically trying to work out how to to stimulate the neural system of people in a way that they can be kind of have a hallucination that can be controlled, like in, in, in a, how, that's kind of an abstract way of thinking about it, but. Okay, that sounds nuts. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. So, I mean, virtual reality is all about making someone experience a reality where they're not currently. So some kind of artificial reality. And to do that, you really have to give them a convincing, you know, stimulus to all of their, all of their body, really, yeah. all of their sense organs. Currently, we can only really do it well for your eyes and your ears. So my, my problem first was how to not make people sick. Because if your eyes oh, yeah. and your ears disagree, most people will get motion sick very quickly. So the, the simple solution was to just allow people to move around in the real world so their ears get some information, but then make sure that you know exactly where they are and where they're looking so that you can give them the right stimulus to their eyes and they won't get sick. How, how's it working? Pretty well. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I actually, I have the Vibe. You, and it's you've used amazing. it? Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. It's, we have one here, actually. We do? I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have one here at Supercon and there's one here at the Design Lab, yeah. Great. Yeah. No, no, I, um, I, I'm pretty proud of it. We got, in a very, very short period of time with a very small team, we did a lot of work. We, we basically redefined the state of the art for what head-mounted displays were. And we did it with the, all of the time with the vision of making it a consumer product at a reasonable price. Yeah, and yeah. it's a pretty reasonable price. I mean, it's $800, but, it, it, but it's up there. what it is, but it, it's... But considering what's in the box, yeah, yeah, it's a complete system. You have controllers, so you also have agency in the world. You don't just look around. Mm -hmm. um, and it really enables content creators to, to go nuts and, and create stuff that they could never have dreamed of previously. Yeah, actually, the, cre the, the stuff that's being created is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really amazing. It is. Yeah. All right, cool. cool. Thanks, Sophie. Yeah, thanks, Alan. Thank you.